start watching this video, I'd suggest you to watch all my other videos which is related to macros, portion control and weight loss tips and tricks. So that understanding this video becomes a lot easier for you. And say to my little boy, Tofu, his name is Tofu. Isn't he very cute? This is Reshma Badiyar and welcome back to my channel. So before I start talking about diet, what I did, what I follow right now, how I plan my meals and what my diet looks like, let me bring one thing to your notice. We all say that you really need to love yourself and you need to take care of yourself but have you realized how important it is and how negligible we are towards it? Think about it in this way. If you love someone, may it be your family, your friends, your partner, whoever it is, you really make efforts to take care of them. You make efforts that, you know, that person shouldn't be suffering anything and you make sure that you are protected towards that person and you do extra things to make that person happy. So when we say you really need to love yourself, why cannot you do the same exact thing for yourself? Think about yourself as a second person and start taking care of that person. You will get absolutely no results if you are very harsh towards yourself. If you look at yourself into the mirror and you start, you know, being all negative that you look fat, you look ugly, you look this, you look that, which is absolute crap to be honest. But if you still feel that and you are trying hard to lose weight, to look good, to be presentable, to make changes, things are not going to work out. If you are in a relationship with somebody, if there are constant fights happening between you and yet you want things to work out, does it even make sense? Same exact thing applies with yourself. If you are in constant battle with yourself, with negativity, with hatred and everything, do you think you'll be getting that result? I don't think. Hence, the first step is to love yourself and then think about your workout and your diet and every other aspect. There are like three kinds of lifestyle which people follow when it comes to eating clean and dieting and losing weight or building muscle, whatever it is. The first one comes about macros. Now I've talked about macros in a series which I uploaded in Hindi wherein I talk about what carbohydrates are, what proteins are and what fats are. So macros is basically you will be keeping track of all these three nutrients that which goes inside your body like keep a track and if something fits your macros, you can eat it. The second thing is portion control. Portion control depends upon how much you eat what. You will not be weighing it but you'll be seeing the portion size. You'll be restricting yourself to certain amount of portions. I have a video uploaded about that as well. And the third one is intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is basically uh, listening to your body, connecting your mind, your body and your soul and then thinking what is good for you and what is bad for you. So for me personally, I follow all of these three. Now you might be wondering how is that even possible to follow all the three lifestyle together. Talking about my macros, I lift heavy and I weight train every day. So when it comes to protein, I do see that certain amount of protein needs to go inside my body. If it's 100 gram plus or minus 10 is not a problem. But I need to hit that macro so that I preserve muscle mass and it helps it uh, recover and all of things related to proteins and muscles. So with protein, yes, I count my macros. When it comes to fats, I portion control. Like fat sources for me are oil, uh, nuts, seeds. So I know I need to add like one spoon of oil and that comes under portion control. If I'm taking like uh, almonds or any kind of nuts, I know I'll have, I need to have just eight to 10 of those. So that comes under portion control. I will not weigh it. I will not calculate how much fat it is giving me, but I'll just restrict myself to it. Same thing goes for carbohydrate as well. Now for carbohydrates, if you're trying to lose weight, you need to restrict the amount of carbohydrate. So people say you need to have just one chapati when you're trying to lose weight. But to be honest, it's not possible for me. I have a huge appetite and I need that feeling of satisfaction once I'm done eating my meal. So eating just one chapati does not stabilize my mind to be honest. I'll be constantly craving for a lot of food. So rather than chapati, I prefer raw veggies or you know, a big bowl of salad or one serving of fruit or something like that. So I've replaced my grains with salads. 
talking about intuitive eating in my lifestyle i really listen to my body when i have to eat i have no meal plan as such and uh, it is not necessary for me to eat five meals a day six meals a day or 10 meals a day or just two meals a day i listen to my body if my body is craving for something like if my body is craving for almonds i will eat almonds but i'll make sure it's in control so that is how you really need to plan and that is something i can sustain all my life if I'm eating mom ke ka khana, I will eat roti and sabzi, but I know I need to restrict it to one chapati. So that is how you connect all the portion control, your macros and intuitive eating, listening to your body. So when I say listen to your body, I know we constantly crave for a lot of junk food and everything. At the start, you need to be very strict towards you. And hence I have this 21 days concept. I've already talked about it in my weight loss tips part one, but if you want me to make a separate video on about how to go about 21 days channel, I can totally do that. Just write it in the comments down below and I'll be happy to talk about it in detail. So for first month of your journey towards a lifestyle change, it will be very difficult for you to follow it. But later on, once you are in the habit of eating clean after you complete that 21 days challenge, it will become a lot more easier for you to opt for healthy food and crave for healthy food. Now at this stage, if you keep a pizza or a salad in front of me, and if I'm not craving for pizza, but it's in front of me, I am sure I'm not going to eat that because my body doesn't want me to eat. Treat your body as a second person for once and imagine what you will do with that person. If you are in love with that person, that is exactly what lifestyle change is. Now, I really love Nutella and that is something I cannot give up. But if a jar is in front of me, that does not mean I'm going to take a spoon and eat it. But I will listen. Do I really want it? Am I really craving for it? Just ask these simple questions and then move forward. When you're starting to crave something, the first step is to drink a glass of water. Your body cannot differentiate between hunger and thirst. So once you're done drinking water, a glass or two of it, and still if you feel hungry, then I'm sure you're for sure hungry and you need to look for options. Do that 21 days challenge and I'm sure that will help to transition your life from your junk life to a very healthy lifestyle. Now I've talked about how I gained weight and there's this one point I've mentioned saying I ate just once a day. So if you are facing the same problem of eating once a day, twice a day, or like 10 times a day, first step you need to do is eat five meals a day so like that is like a safest option like eat three big meals and two snacks make it like five meals a day do not see in what quantity you are eating or what you are eating eat ghar ka khana yes do not eat junk but for some time keep those five meals constant so that your body gets adjusted to these timings and you'll be craving for food only at that time so once you give yourself few weeks to adjust to those five meals uh, your body will be hungry only at that time and you will crave for food only for that time. So after that stage was crossed for me, I replaced my dinner with salad. Like I told you, I do not eat grains, a lot of it. So I replaced my uh, dinner with salads. So instead of roti, I started having my protein sauce and salad. So once my body was adjusted to that thing, I moved on to my lunch. So for lunch, I did the same thing, replaced my roti with salad. So once I was done with that, I moved on to breakfast, having oats and eggs or any other healthy food item like uh, eggs and veggies. So once I was done with these three big meals of my day, then I started thinking about my snacks. So for snacks, I added a serving of fruit and for my evening snack, I have green tea or almonds or any other healthy protein bar or something of those lines. So this is how you go about making gradual changes. If you wake up one fine day, make a meal plan or you go to a dietitian and a nutritionist and make a meal plan and start following the same exact day, it is not going to work. There are like 100% chances that you will be giving up. In this journey of weight loss, I've learned a lot and I've interacted with thousands and thousands of females to be honest and I've got to know about their experiences as well. Once you give like a shock to your body with a solid plan of diet or workout, you are not going to accept it. But if you're giving it time to make changes gradually, it is bound that this is going to become like a lifestyle change and a forever change for you. Things really do not need to be so harsh. I can talk about science all day. I'm a postgraduate in biotechnology and I'm planning to do a PhD as well. When it comes to weight loss or making a lifestyle change, you do not need to involve science everywhere.
it is as simple as what you put inside your body the results will be out if you are putting good food salad raws and fruits and nuts your skin is going to be better your hair is going to be better but if you are eating burger every single day or at least 5 times a week I am sure you'll be getting a lot of acne. You'll be putting on weight. So it is as simple as that. That you really need to learn the balance. You need to listen to your body and you need to love yourself. Like I cannot stop emphasizing how much it is important. Uh, we keep on doing things for people we really love, but we never do anything for ourselves. Just ask this question for once to yourself. That do you even pamper yourself? Like give weekly treatments to your hair. Give weekly treatment to your body. Like almost ninety percent of the crowd, I am sure they do not. care about their skin so much do you have a morning skin care routine do you have a night skin care routine i'm sure you do not have it not did i but all this started developing once i started noticing the difference in my body and that came with the first step of loving yourself listen to your body and the third step is keeping a balance of everything that is all i had to say about diet what i do and how i plan my meals there is no science and wall for me when it comes to all these aspects So now to make you understand on how to listen to your body and everything I will be starting lot of vlogs now on rather than these sitting talkings so that when you see me vlog if I talk about any hunger pangs or if I talk about any emotion I'm going through you can relate it with yourself and find out what solution I get and try it out for yourself as well now everybody has different body types so giving me a one meal plan for everyone that work is crap if you google like lose 10 kg in 5 uh, days in meal plan and if you get results i'm sure you're not supposed to follow that because i have a different height i have different goals i have different body type so meals differ from person to person i have a different lifestyle i have different likings there are a lot of factors which involve when you have to make a diet plan so i cannot give you a diet plan that if you follow this plan you are definitely going to lose 5 kg in a month I want you to learn from this video as how I make changes and how I choose from the options I have. I hope vlogs will help you. And before that, just leave down a comment if you want me to talk in detail about the 21 days eating challenge. I'll make a in-depth video about it so that you can start with that challenge as soon as possible. Like this month you can start with the challenge so that 2017 becomes healthy for you. On Monday, I promise vegetarians I'll be doing what I eat in a day. on a veg day so that uh, it becomes easier for you to see what options i have and i'll be including few recipes as well so apart from that if you have any video request do put it in the comments down below and i hope you enjoy this video i have honestly nothing to say when it comes to diet apart from all these simple facts which i had to just make you realize that you know this is important and you are neglecting it and if you do this you'll be getting results Follow me on all my social medias like Snapchat and Instagram all the links will be in the description box down below until then